Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ame and welcome to the first ever episode of Early Adopters by Dobbs TV. Now, in this episode, we will be talking about the Nike Cortez. The Nike Cortez was engineered by Nike's co-founder Bill Bowerman and it was made for athletes, it was made for runners. He was not only the co-founder of Nike, he was also a coach for the US national run track and field team. So he wanted to engineer a shoe where it's made for his athletes. So in 1968, he crafted a shoe and he wanted to call it Nike Aztec. In the same year, Adidas also came up with a shoe line for running called Azteca Go. So Nike had to go back to the drawing board and had to rebrand the shoe and find a different name. So Bill Bauman sat in his office and was thinking, what do we call the name? So then he asked a question, who was the person that brought down the Aztec Empire? One of his colleagues replied, Hernan Cortez. So he, he said to himself, why not we call the shoe Cortez? Hernan Cortez was a Spanish conquistador who brought down the Aztec Empire. So they can't use the word Aztec, they use someone's name that brought down the Aztec Empire, Hernan Cortez. So that is where Cortez got its name. Now after finalizing the look of the shoe in 1968, the shoe was finally released in 1972 in conjunction to the Olympic that was also held in the same year. Now within the first year where the shoe was released, more than 800,000 pairs of Nike Cortez were sold. This automatically became the growth of Nike itself as a company to being a multi-million dollar company that is today Nike as we know it. This, this is the original colorway, the OG colorway of the Nike Cortez. The white base, the red swoosh, and a strap of blue there. This shoe really caught my eye when I first saw it. I bought this during the 25th anniversary of Nike Cortez. They released a bunch of these shoes and I just had to get one, one of them. Mainly because of the colorway, mainly of how the colorway really just matches with almost anything you wear. You can never go wrong with white pairs of shoes. And fun fact about this shoe, it also appeared in the 1994 movie called Forrest Gump. Now let's put this OG sneakers aside and let's do a bit of story time. Now there was a part in time where the Nike Cortez was not doing too well. Despite it selling more than 800,000 pairs during its first year, Nike Cortez had a time where it was not doing too well and what Nike needed was an influencer. Someone to rise the name Cortez back into the society and that person was Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar wanted to collaborate back with Nike, specifically with the Nike Cortez because he wanted to go back to his roots. Kendrick Lamar has released four lines of Nike Cortez. The Kenny Cortez 1, the Kenny Cortez 2, the Kenny Cortez 3, and the latest one, the Kenny Cortez 4. Now let's talk about the Kenny Cortez 1. Kenny Cortez 1 came in a colorway which I was in love with. So it came in a pure white base with a black stripe. Nike swoosh was replaced by its album name. The tongue of the shoe was also in black and red lacing. And, and instead of like this, it has the word like this one in the OG, you can see that it says Nike and the swoosh. In the Kenny Cortez one, it has the Nike swoosh, but it also mentions his album name. So that was Kenny Cortez one. And when Kenny Cortez two came out, also quite interesting for me personally, one of my favorite color, it came with in red. Base red with white swoosh and a black stripe, keeping that best black stripe. Now the interesting part is in the middle of the lace, it says, don't trip covering the laces, which is to me, it was smart. I don't know whether it was a pun. I don't know whether it was a motivational quote that he said, but it says, don't trip, covering up the laces. And to me, that was, that was smart. So moving on to the Kenny Cortez 3. So it is not a personal favorite colorway of mine, but the Kenny Cortez 3 comes in black with black stripes. The red ribbon design is still there. And the word that is printed on this time is bat it back. I have no idea why it's called that. So if you know why Bet It Back was put on the ribbon, leave a comment down below. Now going to this year, 14 October 2018, Kendrick Lamar released his fourth version of the Kenny Cortez. And this is how it looks like. This is the Kenny Cortez 4. Similar design, but so it has white, gray base, 
orange stitches, an obsidian blue Nike swoosh, and it's printed there, house shoes. I mean, I can physically see myself wearing this and just sitting at home watching TV. This is such a clean pair of sneakers, which is something that I would be taking care of very, very much. Now, the best thing, or rather than one of the new features of the Nike Candy Fork is that it is completely laceless. There is no lace whatsoever, but there is this ribbon back here. I don't think that there's a function towards it because I don't see anything tightening and I don't see the point actually of having this thing. But it's a nice design back here. And the thing that I want to point out to the shoe is the insole. If you can see the insole, it is beautiful. It is just a beautiful piece of insole. It reminds me very much to the Nike Tempo Ronaldinho futsal shoe. That's how the insole looks like. Not to mention, all the Kenny Cortez has a little side note at the side that says Nike Cortez, preferably wear with shorts and tall socks because it was made for athletes. They were wearing shorts and they were wearing tall socks. So we have some little fashion tips there. But of course, to be very Sharia compliant, don't wear shorts, wear it with long pants. You can wear it with jeans, anything. It looks good, anything. I bought this shoe specifically for its looks. But I want to know about the people out there. Why do they spend that kind of cash? Why would they invest in a pair of shoes? I don't consider myself as a sneakerhead. So I want to know more about the sneaker cultures in Malaysia. So if you want to know more too, stay tuned with more early adopters. Wow, oh, did this. Dia bagi balik tu. Ada lagi 15 saat dia bagi balik tu.